Hi everybody and welcome back to my channel. So today we're going to be unboxing something that I purchased when I was recently in Las Vegas. I went on a trip um, and I purchased this. I posted it on my Instagram if you follow me on Instagram. And when I got back from this trip, actually, my house was completely flooded. Not completely, but my kitchen, eating area, and like halfway through my living room. Um, my hot water heater in my attic was leaking, and it came down from my attic through my kitchen ceiling. So, my kitchen right now is under construction. Um, yeah, so that meant all my Christmas had to get packed up um, and what was wet I had to dry out. Um, I was going to try to get the Christmas video up for y'all when I got back from my trip, but that obviously did not happen. So I'm hoping that the remodel will be done before Christmas and I have time to get my decorations and things back up, um, keeping my fingers crossed. It's a lot of work for me to decorate my this entire house two times in one year for Christmas, <laughs> but I will try my best to do so. Um, and let's go ahead and open what I got in Vegas. I thought it was so cute. Um, I've never heard of this brand before. Um, so I'm gonna put it up on my, <laughs> these are my kitchen cabinets that they take off the wall. Um, I wanted to bring them home with me on the plane, but I think it was going to be too big, so I just had them ship it. I got it from the Bellagio Hotel at one of their gift shops. I just thought it was so cute. Oh, I don't want to poke them. It's, a, it's um, I think the brand's Charlie Bears. It sort of looks like a Dick's Bear, but it's more fluffy. Like the fur is fluffier than like a regular Dits Bear. So, I didn't need this thing. But here we are. <laughs> and I'm gonna get the box open. I got him from this shop, Tuto, I don't know. They had him in the window of the store, and I was like, oh my god, look how cute he is. Oh my god, he's so cute. And his little head, you can position, like move it, and it stays. The Dits Bears don't do that. And his arms, you can move them. Oh, he's so cute. Let's get him out. Here he is. He's not like huge by any means, but he's... Like about the size of a small Dits bear. Here, I'll put him close to the camera so you all can see him. He's got a cute face. And um, he, they do like, sort of like Mark Roberts does, like with the limited pieces. So there was a thousand and this is 726. Just came with that. He's so cute, look at him, oh my gosh. Has a little hat. I thought this would be cute like for Valentine's because you know how I like to use the bears for Valentine's too. Oh, his legs move too. Like you can position his legs so like you could do him sitting or whatever. Oh, let me put him down. <laughs> let me move this box. All right, so I'll give you guys a close-up of him. Here he is, has a little hat, little pom-pom on the top, little hearts. And this is like sewn on, so you can't really take it off. Um, 
But yeah, he's way furrier than like a regular Ditz bear, which I kind of like. Um, this is the brand right there. But yeah, I just think he's so cute. All right, well, that's about it. Um, thank you so much for watching this video. Um, I just wanted to, again, let y'all know why my Christmas video is not up. Um, I'm pretty disappointed about it, not gonna lie, um, but I know there's worse things that can happen. The ceiling could have fell in or something and it could have been way worse, but um, it still has set me back as far as my Christmas and everything. So hopefully I'm praying that the construction will be done soon and I can get my Christmas stuff back up. Um, if not, I'll probably still put my Christmas stuff back up anyway if it's after Christmas, just because that's who I am and I'm crazy. But uh, yeah, anyway, thank you so much for watching this video and I hope to see you in the next one with my Christmas decorations up. Thank you so much.